Okay, so before people disappear, we have some awards to give out. And I'm watching people walk out the door, okay. All right, so <laughs> we have a couple of awards we wanna give out. Um, the, the first is, I mentioned that we ran a hackathon, right? So 24 hours of coding, teams get together, they come up with interesting ideas, and they attempt to complete it in a very quick amount of time. Then they were judged. Um, so as I walk back over here, I'm gonna pull out what the prize is. We have a cool drone for each member of the winning team. Um, and in particular, I wanna thank our judges for helping participate. Um, I wanna thank Chris Clark from my team for helping to, to organize the, the hackathon event. Um, I really do think it's one of the most interesting parts of the kind of day zero activities that we run. Um, okay, so the winning team was Team Bosch Central. Um, I'm not gonna read all that to you, but basically <laughs> what they did was they created a package manager for Bosch releases. Um, they, were trying, they were looking at Bosch, looking at some of the gaps that it may have, and they managed to pull something together, and I believe it also included a web UI. So I'd like to invite the actual four members of the team, I think are over here somewhere, to come on on stage. I only have one of the drones, but everybody give them a round of applause. Right. We've got Janik, Benjamin, Christian, and Renee from both Ivoila and from GStack. So here, who wants to take the first one? And you can meet Chris over there for the other one. Awesome, so Benjamin, hey. Oh, there you go. Good job, guys. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. I hope you had fun. That's awesome. Cheers. Thank you. So, congrats. Chris has the other, uh, other drones down there. Awesome. Okay, so besides the hackathon, um, we also ran some community awards, and one of the categories that we had was what we called Stealth Ops. Now, these are folks that maybe kind of fly under the covers, don't necessarily get on stage very frequently, um, but are incredibly important to our ecosystem. So we have two winners, and I'm gonna ask them to, to join me up here in a second. Um, but we have uh, Natalie Bennett. Um, so Natalie's a frequent contributor to the open source discussions, the community efforts. Um, she works on the release integration team. Now, for those of you that uh, may not be familiar, the release integration team is the team that takes all of the various components, right? Hundreds of repositories of code and brings it through a central pipeline. It's really critical to um, to the efforts you know, that, that we have uh, to produce this, this open source platform. Um, the other, though, of course, is Dimitri Callen. Um, so Dimitri has been running the Bosch PMC for quite some time. He recently stepped aside to kind of move on to the next career adventure he's having you know, within Pivotal. Um, but Dimitri has been so important to the, the Cloud Foundry community overall, Bosch community specifically, um, and we just wanted to make sure that, uh, that he was rewarded for his time. So if Dimitri and Natalie could come on up here, we have an award to give you. Thank you very much. Hey, Dimitri made it, there we go. <laughs> All right, so these are kind of cool. Swarna, these are really neat. Good job. <laughs> so this one's for Dimitri. Thank you. Yeah, very good. And there you go, Natalie. Thank you. Thank you very much, both of you. So congratulations. The community loves everything you do. Thanks, Dimitri. Thank you very much. Awesome. Okay. Um, last one from me uh, before Abby comes up and helps wrap up and, and set you up for the, the rest of the day. Um, we had another category, Helping Hands. Uh, the Helping Hands category was, was really about, hey, who are some of the more helpful individuals that are in the community? Some of the contributors that really take the time with end users, with um, other contributors throughout the different projects to kind of make sure that everyone's feeling, well, welcome, right? Make sure that people are feeling included. Make sure that the questions can be answered. Um, and so our winner for this is Eric Malm. For those of you that don't know Eric, he leads the Diego project. That's the heart of the Cloud Foundry application runtime. Um, he's an amazing person. I actually feel uh, quite happy to have gotten to know him over the last couple of years. So Eric, why don't you come on up here? Thank you very much for everything you do. All right, and this one's cool too. I kind of like this award. Yet now you have something heavy you have to carry home. Eric, Thanks, thank you Jeff. so much for everything. There you go. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. All right. 
Um, one other award, um, unfortunately, uh, they're not able to be here. Um, they, they were at our North American Summit. Um, but we asked for the coolest user story. And this is something that we're, we really want to start getting more submissions for because there are so many amazing stories. Um, so each summit, we want to highlight at least one end user that has just an incredible story about the adoption of Cloud Foundry, how it's changing their business, making major impact in their organization if they're not actually a corporation. Um, so this year, or at this event, we'd like to congratulate the Home Depot, right, retail firm, uh, predominantly in the US, but global. Um, they have fundamentally changed the way that they deliver software within their organization. They even have some fascinating approaches to finding more developers. They look to their store associates and find ways to elevate people up through career ladders in IT. Um, so if you haven't heard uh, the Home Depot story, go to, go to cloudfoundry.org. You can take a look at the case study there. Uh, there are lots of talks about them as well. Um, really fascinating and wonderful folks. So congratulations to the Home Depot. Uh, if you can give them a round of applause. All right. And with that, my time with you is done, and I'm going to invite Abby back on stage to kind of give you a bit of a show wrap before you're set loose into the breakouts. So thank you all very much. Hi. Thank you. Well, good morning, not quite afternoon yet. I will try to be quick. Before I get through all the thank yous and everything, I wanna say thank you for all of you that come, speak, and participate at Summit. This doesn't happen without you. And a special thanks to Dan and Steve. Thank you for getting up here on stage yesterday and today and sharing not only an opportunity for us to all be more welcome and inclusive for our community, but how we can all be better, period. And I know that was a tough thing for you both to do, and I really appreciate it. So by the numbers, really quickly, today and yesterday, so in two days we've crammed in 144 keynotes, breakouts, and lightning talks. We had 65 member companies here, or uh, within the community, eight certified platforms, and we had 961 attendees. That is a uh, significant jump over last year, so it's really great to see Europe continuing to grow year over year. Thank you again to all of our sponsors. Without you, this is not possible. I wanna reemphasize that again when we go and ask you for money for next year. <laughs> Without you, this is not possible. So, Thank you all uh, to our platinum sponsors, Dynatrace, Pivotal SAP, Swisscom, and our gold sponsors, Google, SUSE, IBM, and VMware, and our silver sponsors, and our startup sponsors, and our bronze sponsors. Thank you all. You make this possible. Thank you to Google for the diversity scholarship and for allowing some participants to come and join us here that wouldn't have otherwise been able to come. You make this easier to host and bring more people here. Finally, thank you to the city of Basel for allowing us to come back, but also helping us make this possible here. And I want to say again, thank you for everyone that spoke, brought content. I know it's a lot of work to do contents, to do presentations, to do keynotes, to do panels, and I really, really appreciate it because you make it possible. We've gotten a lot of press coverage this week. Thank you to all the journalists that are sitting in the front row. Thank you. Thank you for telling the story. I know it seems a little self-serving, but it is important to tell the story, not just for the project, but for all the work that each and every one of you bring to make it possible to have such a great and broadly used technology. Oh, and thank you for having us trending second day in a row. Keep tweeting, we love it. Thank you to the ambassadors for not just wearing the badge, but also making other 
people feel included, new people. We had a lot of first-time attendees, so thank you for going the extra mile and making sure they feel welcome. Thank you to Swarna for leading them and helping drive our community. Huge thank you to the team here on the ground that makes it possible. There's a very small team that make this all possible, so thank you all for the work you do, the midnight slide revisions, the early morning preps before the panels, all of the extra mile work that you do. So, mark your calendars now, April 2nd through 4th, Philly. Chip's very excited. We're going to be, not at your house, Chip, but we will be near. Chip's very excited. We won't fit at Chip's house, but Philly, mark your calendars now. The call for papers is open. So, time to submit your talks. Jules, work on it right now. CFP open closes on November 30th, so I've got a little over a month and a half to get those in. Registration will open on December 1st, so mark your calendars for that, too. And everyone's been asking, where's the next European Summit going to be? Well, unfortunately, it won't be in Basel again, as much as I do love coming to Basel. It is going to be in The Hague. Yes, so save the date, September 11th through 12th, The Hague, in the Netherlands. Uh, join us there. Sponsorships are available, obviously, and we will be talking about the CFP as we get closer to the North America Summit. But so Europe, next year, September. We have a fantastic afternoon of talks, so this is not it, we're not done right now. There's way more talks today, a lot of great sessions, a lot of great panels, and we have sessions picking up here really quickly. Sorry, we're running a little bit over. But on your way to a session, please drink a coffee. <laughs> Maybe two, drink all the coffee. And on that, I will see you in Philly.